Well, gas prices fall further as the coronavirus drags on. And overnight markets are pointing to more volatility ahead, as if we haven't had enough. Jane King is live at the NASDAQ <laughs> with your Tuesday morning business report. Yes, Ted Margaret, and my goodness, what a few weeks it's been. At least we're looking to the upside uh, for the volatility today, uh, with the Dow pointing to about an 1,100-point gain today. Uh, oil also is bouncing back here this morning after the worst day since 1991. So a couple things happened to give us a, a little bit of a lift. The Federal Reserve issued a statement encouraging banks to be aware, to be flexible, uh, to work to meet the needs of customers that are having some kind of financial pain during uh, this outbreak. And also Congress considering paid sick leave. So hourly workers, for example, don't go to work. They're still getting paid. And also tax relief to help Americans and small businesses get through the crisis as well. Well, gas prices do continue to decline because of the coronavirus. Of course, those oil prices yesterday had a lot to do with that. AAA said prices are dropping because of lower demand for fuel. And we have that geopolitical disagreement uh, between the Saudis and Russians over cutting oil production. Now, AAA thinks the trend is likely to continue through the end of the winter driving season. The current average, they say, in Greenville is 203 a gallon. And to make sure those most vulnerable to the coronavirus don't have to venture out, CVS will deliver prescribed medications to customers for free. The free home delivery will start immediately. They're adding it's the latest step that they're doing to help their customers deal with the outbreak. Well, it was a day for the stock market record books. The Dow down more than 2,000 points. It was the worst day for stocks percentage-wise since December 2008. In terms of points, worst day ever by far. We're down about 19 percent from the all-time highs. Uh, today, the White House will meet with executives from the healthcare industry to talk about solutions. Again, bounce back today more than 1,000 points higher is what we're looking at now. Live from the NASDAQ, I'm Jane King. Back to you. Yeah, the I coronavirus. still can't stand this. Yeah, I know. The coronavirus really <laughs> taking a toll on just about everything. Oh, it really is. I mean, we're talking about numbers that like five years ago, I would have never dreamed. Thousand points here, thousand points yeah. down, Insane. you know, and it's like a daily thing now. Yeah. So very volatile. All right, Jane. Well, we will be closely okay. monitoring it with you and we'll check back tomorrow morning.